And I'll go for the gold, there's gold in them, there's gold. Go for the gold, there's gold in many thrills. Yeah, go for the gold, there's gold in the heartland still. Go for the gold, up the Caribou Gold Rush Trail. If you want a holiday, put your cares of blues away. Just pack your bags and head for the Caribou. Up that Fraser Canyon shore, well this time you'll get more. Cause the gold up in Barkerville is waiting there for you. I'll go for the gold, there's gold in their hill. Go for the gold, there's gold in many thrills. Yeah, go for the gold, there's gold in the heartland still. Go for the gold, here the gold for a thrill. Billy Parker struck it rich when he dug down in that ditch. Forty feet below at a spade and pail. Now the story is still told that you can still find gold. Here and there and everywhere along the caribou trail. Now go for the gold, there's gold in them, there hill. Go for the gold, there's gold in awesome, many uh, beautiful day here for spectating. Yeah, share a little warmth with dogs, but nonetheless, uh, it's a great day. A lot of people are here, but there's plenty of room for more. And of course, uh, I'm standing here with the chair, Len Desette. How are you doing today, Len? How's things going? Uh, busy. Yeah. yeah. Busy day today. Yeah. Uh, it's a great, great event. A little rain in the morning, but you know, we've heard through it, but we're doing really well now. We've, uh, the excitement is just incre incredible with the dogs, you know, with the, uh, even with the six dog teams, how you can, can't hear yourself anywhere near the stage. No, no, the six dogs are loud and the uh, ten dogs are louder. So in about uh, 20 minutes you're going to be hearing so much dog barking you're going to wish you were at home somewhere in Australia. I'm sure you'll be able to hear them from around the world. Yeah, they're pretty noisy, but they're excited. They just want to run. So yeah. that's uh, uh, they're just out there having fun. How many uh, teams do we have here today? Well, we have, we have 44 teams running, wow. and uh, we're doing really, really well this year in the uh, six dog races. We have 15 teams in the six wow. dog races, so we're doing pretty well. Wow. And uh, how about ski drawing? Ski drawing, uh, it went really, uh, record numbers in ski drawing. We had six uh, entries this year, uh, which is more than what we've ever had for ski drawing. Okay. Um, that's always a fun sport. Now, yeah. imagine, Rob, we'll strap a set of skis on you. No, let's not. Get a couple dogs to pull you around for four and a half miles. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You better film it because it might be my last uh, ski ride ever. Yeah, well. So uh, there's uh, hundreds of dogs here today, isn't there? Two hundred. Two hundred dogs. Now go for the gold. There's gold in them. There's gold. Go for the gold. There's gold in many thrills. Yeah, go for the gold. There's gold in the heartland still. Go for the gold, up the Caribou Gold Rush Trail. If you want a holiday, put your cares of blues away. Just pack your bags and head for the Caribou. Up that Fraser Canyon shore, well this time you'll get more. Cause the gold up in Barkerville is waiting there for you. I go for the gold, there's gold in there, there you. Go for the gold, there's gold in many thrills. Yeah, go for the gold, there's gold in the heartland still. Go for the gold, the care of the gold for a thrill. Billy Parker struck it rich when he dug down in that pit. I'm doing good, lots of excitement here at the Caribou Challenge 2014. Uh, great day for spectators. But uh, I'm here with Pam Barker and Michelle Collette. Collette? Got it right. <laughs> And uh, they've started a new business recently called Caribou Country Mobile Veterinary Service. And uh, Pam, just to ask you quickly, uh, how is it? How is your business going so far? Well, we're getting ready to open in about a month, and we're really excited about it. Um, we've had tremendous response from the community and the businesses, and it seems that there's a real need that we're filling with uh, being able to be mobile and actually serving different locations because people are so spread out in the caribou and pet owners really need access to quality veterinary care that is not too far away. Well, I mean it's a service that's been needed in the caribou for a long time. Obviously, uh, someone finally picked, 
went ahead and just went for it, and that's you guys. Of course, Michelle, you're the, are you guys partners uh, yes. in crime? We're partners in crime. Uh, Pam's the vet, and I'm the vet tech. Well, about veterinarian <laughs> stuff, you know that? Well, basically, a veterinarian without a technician is really a sad individual. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> they keep us organized and on track, and uh, yeah, it's great. Michelle and I have known each other for a number of years. We've worked together before, and this is actually an idea that we had been sort of discussing and bouncing around for several years and Michelle recently uh, finished uh, veterinary tech school at uh, Thompson Rivers University and okay. first in her class which we like uh, right now. <laughs> I wish you guys all the success thank you. with your business you know I just I think it's a great thing that you're doing here in Canada. Thank you very much and thanks for your support. You're very welcome. We appreciate it. Thank there you. There you go Clay. Hey you have to tell Dr. Pam that she must said hi. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> Give her a pat for me! <laughs> Those Nasco Valley hills still make me high Higher than the mountain Reaching up to touch the sky When the moon is shining bright It brightens up the night And the shadows fall across deep feet of snow And the wood fires are ablaze as I recall those days when the temperature can drop 40 below. When springtime comes along and when the snow's all gone and the birds are singing gaily in the trees. Then the meadows are a bloom with flowers late in June and beauty lies as far as eyes can see. Oh, those Nazca Valley hills still make me high. Higher than the mountain, reaching up to touch the sky. That's where I long to be, back among those big pine trees. Cause old Vasco Valley Hills to make me high. Enough to touch the sky That's where I long to be Back among those big pine trees Cause those Vasco Valley hills To make me high So high Well I traveled all around This great Canadian ground From the eastern coast And back to the western sky So we're doing good. So you feeling like you're part of the sled races now? Starting the six dogs. Do you want us to come down and pelt you with a snowball? <laughs> yeah. What? Well, yeah. Go jump outside and wash your own face. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Clay, we're here at the uh, 21st anniversary of the Jack Garthorn sled dog race, and I got Craig Conklin here with me. And I'm going to go right off topic immediately. <laughs> and uh, because, yeah, Greg, we know uh, just recently you gave up a piece of your body to someone else that was in dire need of it. Yeah, I had a friend in Montana that needed a kidney, and I had two and only needed one. So. Yeah, so you're you're here and you're actually going to race, from what I understand, this afternoon as well, or today, this morning. Yeah, I'm seven weeks out from surgery. The doctor cleared me, so I'm running six dogs today. Wow, well, that's incredible, you know, like... Uh, it just goes to show you, you can give away a part of your body and heal up and go dog sled racing. How many weeks later? Seven weeks. Oh, you're up better. Today. I'm up. And then we've got a couple yeah. others ready to go. Okay. The kidney, the thing, you know, giving a kidney to someone else. And he's really needing this bad. Yeah, he's approaching yeah, he was, um, when he was 18, he was in a car accident, found out he had one kidney. And we should see them into the finish in the next uh, couple okay. minutes here. So by the time he got to be 25, he was on dialysis three times a week. The first one about 20 hours a week. And at 27, uh, sorry, he Mike really Huntley. had it downhill fast. So. so Mike Huntley was the first out. So he's doing well now? He's doing really well. He actually teaches they diesel mechanics at the university. He actually can already. come in in the same way. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible, you know, to see that you can actually do that. It really is. are doing really well. And you know, you are the only hero I do know. Kidney hero. 
That's what they call you guys. You know, well, I didn't make that up. It's it's part of the uh, Kidney Foundation. Yeah. And so uh, I'm sure he appreciates that, and, and anybody else that is uh, in the same situation right now appreciates yeah. people like yourself. It, it's a huge life changer for him. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure his life is absolutely back on to its yeah, track and back where he needs to be working. And he's got three little kids and a wife, and they're all happy to have dad happy. And, wow. Well, that's just incredible, you know, it just almost brings a tear to my eye. I'm going to ask all the spectators. <laughs> From south of the 49 and north of the Yukon line, but those Nazco Valley hills still make me high. Oh, those Nazco Valley hills still make me high. Higher than the mountain, reaching up the tops of the sky. That's where I long to be, back among those big pine trees. Cause those Nazco Valley hills still make me high. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, those Nazco Valley hills still make me high. Higher than the mountain, reaching up to touch the sky. That's where I long to be, back among those big pine trees. Cause those Nazco Valley hills still make me high. Yeah, those Nazco Valley hills still make me high. Successful, nonetheless. Uh, Very the successful event. This year. Yeah, another another successful year. Yeah, and way different from last year when we were just just freezing trying. Yeah, to stay last warm. year we're a little bit shivery, and this year we're uh, out watching a sled dog race with umbrellas. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it started. The day started. Is there anybody you want to thank, uh, Len? Oh, or? I I want to thank all the spectators, of course, all the team mushers, um, the team owners. And of course, the, the scads of volunteers and mm -hmm. businesses that to, to put this together. I mean, it's a huge event. There's a lot that needs to be done. So many volunteers are involved throughout the year getting this organized. And, you know, I have to thank them and, of course, all the sponsors. We have so many great sponsors. Um, you know, we have Tosico Mines, The Hills, Horton Ventures, The Free Press. It, the list goes on and on. You guys. Um, you know, if it wasn't for those sponsors, we wouldn't be having this race. Absolutely. Well, it, to me, it looks like a very busy event this year compared to yeah, last. Yeah, and it's getting busier every year as years go by. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to maybe next year even bigger and better.